Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to highlight and contour your face. So I love starting off with pinning back my hair just to get it all up so there's no hair like floating around, no hair getting caught in my highlighting contour. So I just get it all back and pinned away. And then I apply my normal foundation and concealer routine. I like doing this before highlighting and contouring. Then what I love using for my highlighting contour are the L'Oreal True Match Crayon Concealers. They're very creamy and they glide right on. So for the highlight, I use a shade that's about two shades lighter than my normal concealer. And the contour is the darkest shade that they carry. Then the tools that you need are like a beauty blender, Sigma F80 flat kabuki brush, a smaller stippling brush, a blush brush, some bronzer, and another cream highlight. I use the MAC Prep and Prime and Radiant Rose. So these are all the tools that you need. When you want to know where to contour your face, you can always do an extreme fishy face like I just did. Um, and you feel in the hollows of your cheekbones and that is where you're going to want to apply your contour. As well as if you want your nose to look appear a little bit thinner, you can apply some, like I do here, down the sides of my nose. I also do my jawbone and my forehead because it's slightly large. I just want it to appear, appear a tiny bit smaller. Next, I apply my highlight. And this is the other L'Oreal True Match. And it's the one that I said before is about two shades lighter than the normal concealer I would use. And I just drag that down the bridge of my nose. And I usually do drag it up to my forehead just a little bit, not all the way up. And then I highlight underneath my eyes. And don't worry, this does look a little crazy, but it's going to be all blended in and it's going to look amazing when we're done. And then I highlight in between my cheekbone and jawline contour. My cupid's bow and down my chin are also other important places that I like to highlight. And voila, this is the finished product, guys. Just kidding. But now we are going to start blending everything in with a damp beauty blender or a beauty sponge. First, I start by blending in all of my contour except my nose. I save that for the very end. So I just blend it all the way in and don't worry if it takes a long time to blend this in. The important part is that it's blended in without any harsh lines. Then using the tip of my beauty sponge, I'm going to be blending in all of the highlight. This is the most important step. To attack my nose, that's when I use the e.l.f. the smaller stippling brush and I just blend in the contour of my nose and I use my beauty sponge ag again to blend in the highlight on my nose. At this point, I'm just blending in any harsh lines that I notice and just kind of doing one last blending and blending everything in. Then with the bronzer, I'm going to be like re-emphasizing the contour that I did on my cheekbones and along my nose and just reapplying and blending, blending, blending. Super important. I just want my highlight to pop a little bit more. And now the next step that I do is I like at this point applying my blush. So any blush that I'm going to be using, I apply it now. Then using my cream highlight, I'm going to be applying that to the tops of my cheekbones. 
and then just blending that out. I start off by blending it a little bit with my fingers and then I finish up with my beauty sponge. And this is how everything looks when all the highlight and contour has been blended in. And as well as now I have my full face of makeup on and you can see how beautiful it looks. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.